But no, nah, um, real quick thoughts on Tevin Farmer and uh, and um, Raymond Montaya. I like Tevin Farmer. Um, you know, he's on the on the downside of his career. I really wish that he would have made that fight with Tank a few Early. years back, and I wish that Tank and Gary Russell would have fought. And those Ooh, two fights, the DMV area, yeah, yeah. That, that Baltimore versus DC, man, yeah. it, it's never gonna happen now. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Those, those are fights that I really wanted to see happen. Um, I don't think that I don't think that uh, Tevin would have beat Tank, but I think that Russell and Tank would have been a nice, solid fight. That would have been a nice, clean fight. Yeah, right there. that would have been a nice especially fight. back then. Yeah. Two side paws, yeah. both yeah. punch. I mean, I think they could still fight, but I, it, Gary Russell, he don't he don't fight. Yeah. yeah, can't go over there. He and might just, as well just. What does that retire. do for Javante at this yeah. point? Come yeah. off the couple years fight. ago, would have yeah. done something. I for mean, him. yeah, yeah. What did him fighting Frank Martin do for him? Yeah, at least he's yeah. a guy mm -hmm. undefeated in the division, young. That's what I told the, you. That, yeah. Those yeah. are true yeah. things, but Boy. Gary Russell is still a respected boxer, and it's really a territory. It's a turf thing, right? You know, like the DM Baltimore don't like to be. Claimed in the DMV, but you know, just in that area, Baltimore versus DC, it's a it's a rivalry. So I think that it would be worth the fight. You know, I was I would watch it for sure. I would right, go to right. it. Yeah, right. and Gary Gary still thinks he can beat Tank. Yeah, he yeah, definitely. He, he says he can it. beat Terrence Crawford. Like, yeah, yeah. He, talk, he, he talk a lot of yeah. shit. Yeah, he talks a lot of shit, man. No, no offense, Gary yeah, Russell. You know, yeah, yeah. hey man, you was on Sean Porter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Step to me. I'm just, I'm just commentating, yeah. brother. God, you got security? <laughs> you got security? Nah, I ain't got no oh, okay. security. I feel like I ain't making through my shout out. What the hell? What shout out? What's up? <laughs> Let me go back real quick. I need to get my hair lined up. All right. Still <laughs> <laughs> talking about that? Okay. Talking about the it's on here, Breadman. Breadman said you'll okay. go see my my boy Brizzo. So I just wanted to shout out Brizzo. When I was at the shop, he was cutting. He was cutting. He said, "Can I go live?" <laughs> I said no. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know, I used to have a, a, po a podcast. Da 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 da. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So mm -hmm. I told him, I said, listen, man, I'm gonna come back out. When I come back out, I'm bringing the podcast. And he stopped the Clippers. Hey, man, you really coming? I said, yeah. I said, I looked you in your eyes and I said, I'm coming. He said, man, I'm from Philly. Yeah. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, don't, so, where's so, the shop? Yeah, um, what, what part of town. You know, I don't, I don't know the part of the town it was in. I know it's it, it looked unsafe. From, uh, Unsafe fish. <laughs> that could be any. any uh, <laughs> right, <direction>. right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, I got the address. Um, yeah. Maybe if anything, I'll leave the address. If somebody's in Philly, want to pay them a visit or anything like that. The whole point of all that is, I just want to make make sure that I make it known and I want to salute um, Philly for the uh, hospitality and the love that y'all show the podcast. And when I come back, I'll let y'all know it will be in October. I think it's gonna be October. Uh, it's a, a fight. Uh, no, I'm okay. going for a Browns game. Oh, yeah, you said that. Yeah. Next October time you go, let me know. I'm going to connect you with my people. They call the Food Chasers. Shout out to the Food Chasers. They got their own restaurant. Oh, they close to the Dream Chasers? Twin. No, I don't want no problem. No, nah, no. Nah, they twin girls. Oh, okay. they, they they chefs, and they got their own spot. That's and what's happening. They take care of all the celebrities that come through town, went to college with them. Food good as hell. What's the right. what's the name of that one again? The food Chasers. The food Chasers. Yep. Okay. 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 Yep. Well, yeah, I just want to make sure I did that. Um... It was special being over there, man. It was just like 24 hours, mm -hmm. but it was a little different. And it ain't too many places that I go. And I'm like, man, I need to come back. Yeah. Almost like when we went to Omaha, I was like, yo, yeah. it's, 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 it's the vibe over here is on, is on another level. You don't need to go Omaha. <laughs> Shout out to Omaha. You know, Omaha <laughs> cool, right? No. No, Omaha ain't cool. They the people cool, but it, I ain't if you never go to Omaha, Just leave it there. You didn't I miss nothing. You gonna get sniped? Yeah, I know. Omaha is <laughs> yeah, another one of those that. prideful towns. You know, uh, I probably should have said <laughs> Pride, prideful towns. They 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 fuck with each other heavy. Yeah. They support their hometown yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 but you know, yeah. Ain't nobody going on vacation here. Thank you. No, 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 no. Well, Sean was hyping up such a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, like Joe Kim Noah said about Cleveland, Sean. It's kind of similar. Yeah, look, trash. Similar sentiment. Look, trash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mid, mid All that being said, let's jump over to the zone right quick. Oh wait, but yeah, from farmer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. You uh, was there. Farmer. He said you was there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> the, 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 you know, definition of a slick, crafty veteran last yes. night, mm -hmm. and got off to a good start. Hit Murataya with some straight left hands. Um, Tevin, even in his twenties when he was champ at thirty, he his best work usually came in the first half of the fight, and then. Things would fade a little bit, deteriorate a little bit. And you that, think that's because of fatigue? I don't know. It's just how he's he's in the first couple rounds, you'll be like, man, this guy almost yeah. looks Whitaker-ish, like like shades yeah, yeah, yeah. of Whitaker. And then 
and then um, just the sharpness starts to go down a little bit. Yeah, Blow, it, blows right through his energy. Doesn't know how to manage his energy. I'm, he did a. He didn't really. It's not like he gassed out last night or anything. No, you but, know? It's a but dip, he, that sharpness yeah. dissipates yeah. through the course of the fight because he's so high at the beginning. Right. You got to learn how to control it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or could it be the opponent? That's starting to figure figure you out. That's Everybody, though, yeah, that's, that's kind of been his. Yeah. That's kind of been a part of his his makeup, though. So, so Murataya, as the fight went on, gained some control, but never like dominated yeah. Tevin Farmer. Never, mm -hmm. never was able to consistently put too many shots together, round after round. Tenth round, like you said uh, earlier, he hurt him with a right hand, and he put this nice combination together. Where you know you're making Tevin move the upper body and making him dip everywhere, and then eventually run him into a shot with that because he's just on defense and uh -huh. nothing's coming back. Uh -huh. And you just ask yourself from Murataya, like where was that earlier in the fight? Mm -hmm. And that's been Why a, did it take so long. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he won? I did. Uh, you know, it, it's it was one of those fights where you're not. It's not it's sure. not no, where you're not that engaged. Okay. There's not a whole lot going on, so you're you're watching it, and there's not a huge separation one way or the other. Mm -hmm. It looked like Murataya did enough to win. Okay. He did enough to win, and and the point deduction. Some people didn't like it. That was crazy. What was it for? Um, excessive holding. And it was crazy on Farmer. On Farmer. Okay. I didn't think it was that crazy because um, okay, because <laughs> it you know. It got to a point where that was just his answer on the inside every time. And then once he got the point deduction, you got to see better defense from him because he couldn't resort warnings? to That's when he started to see the upper body movement look pretty again. And How many know, warnings did he get before he got He up? didn't get any warnings. That wow. is that is the part I don't that's like. That's why I thought it was Yeah, crazy. yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, yeah, he should get a warning before you go straight to point deduction. Yeah, because one judge... I guess that one point swayed the um, one card. Yeah, one yeah, card. ninety-five, ninety-four. Yeah. But the other two, he would have still won. He would have mm -hmm. got a majority decision even yeah. without the yeah. deduction. But for Murataya, sometimes you see these guys who got some power, and they're too patient for their own good. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, that was even the case with Canelo mm -hmm. early in his career. And mm -hmm. then you, once he stayed on the front foot, took advantage of his strength a little bit more. That's when he peaked. And yep. for Murataya, he showed that in one fight in particular, Nakatia, yeah. last year. But outside of that, he tends to be a little too patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a great trainer. He, that's for him and Robert to, to you know, perfect and I can't, out. I can't explain it. Like, I'm, I watch him and I'm like, do more. I felt the same way you felt where it's like, it's just, I'm not engaged. I'm not, I'm not invested. You haven't done anything to make me say, oh, what's going to happen next? It's the same thing round after round. And so I, I really wasn't too invested either. To your point of what you said, when he ran him into that shot, I said, word that's been all night. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, how, how, why did it take that long to get there? You know what I mean? And I, I don't think, we always got to look at the other side. What is this fighter Tevin doing? Tevin is hard to hit. To prevent <laughs> him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he is. But you found that moment. The thing is, not only did you find that moment, you also created that moment. Created he stepped it. to him, stepped to him, and created the moment. And it's like, why aren't you creating more moments? You know what I mean? So, I think is um, the conditioning. You know, if you're saying that he's not, he's not putting out more. It could be conditioning. I think part of it's temperament. Like that mm -hmm. same patience that gives him good fundamentals and good balance mm -hmm. is the same patience that's making them wait too much at times, okay. yeah. you know, but yeah. 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 I definitely believe what Canelo is conditioning. Yeah, yeah well, that's, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he's loading up on everything. He's yeah. not throwing anything. Especially when yeah. he start going to the body, you know, everything is with bad intentions. Mm -hmm. Nothing but power shots, and then he'll get gassed out. With constant upper body movement, too. So he's constantly doing this yeah. and then throwing bombs. Yeah. And that, you know. Does, yeah. <laughs> so does Ray, there's Raymond, right? Yeah. Get, does he get a title shot or do you get caught up with Keyshawn Davis? I like Keyshawn in that fight. But and do you give him a title shot first? Keyshawn said he want to fight um, Frank Martin next. Yeah. I like that uh, fight. Uh, I like that fight. Better chance of getting Raymond than getting Keyshawn. Well, you know, Bob said that. Shout uh, out to Bob. The, Bob. Bobby Lyon? Bob Arum. Hey, you shout hey, Bob Arum? Hey, hey. Bob, Bobby well. Lyon? They all do, yeah. <laughs> well, he, said, he said that now that Shakur is going, uh -huh. the title bout that he would have got was against Zapata. Zapata, you're right, Zapata. Then he said that Keyshawn's gonna get that that fight. Now. Oh, it's Berenchik now. Berenchik. Uh, yeah, because they got top rank. Got this the WBO belt. Top rank got options on Berenchik, I think. But so they, okay. it's it's like who's 
who's going to get Baranchik from top rank? Is it, it could have Shakur? It could have been you, is what Bob's saying. Well, Zapata fight now. Maybe it's Keyshawn. Too. Maybe it's Murataya. But mm -hmm. but Zapata's tough to make because that's Oscar's guy. Yeah, and yeah. he's not going to want to get him beat by Keyshawn or Shakur or. 